What's up guys? Today we're gonna find out if snow can stop a bullet. So first up we're just gonna shoot this little wall of snow that I made with various calibers. It's probably nearly two feet thick or so. And after we do that little caliber comparison on my snow wall, we'll have a little fun and just blast that snowman that I made right here. And we're gonna start out with the 22 long rifle with CCI mini mag 40 grain round nose. So with the 22, it looks like we had a little bit of snow explode out the back, but there's no damage on our wood. Next up, 45 ACP, 230 grain FMJ. There's where our 22s hit and our 45s right here. And it looks like the 45s blew a huge hole out the back and then hit our wood right here. And it looks like both of them went straight through the wood. So a foot and a half to two feet of snow seems that it will not stop a 230 grain 45 ACP. But maybe that's just because the 45 was an FMJ and it was moving really slow so the snow just didn't break the bullet up. Now we're gonna try some 44 Magnum, 240 grain jacketed soft points. The 45 went straight through the snow. The 44 is more than three times as powerful, but it's moving a lot faster, so maybe it'll actually break up on the snow. Let's find out. So not only did the 44s go through, they kind of obliterated our wall of snow. Just blew huge chunks out of it and plastered this board with snow. And we got two new exits out the back. So even though the 44 was moving faster and it was a soft point, it went straight through the wall. So then what about a 12 gauge, one ounce rifled slug? This is moving even faster than the 44, but it's just a pure soft lead projectile. It's more than twice as powerful as that 44 Magnum. Let's see what it'll do to that snow. <laughs> wow, that slug was pretty similar to the 44 except more than twice as much. What do you know? <laughs> kind of just obliterated our wall even more than the 44. I even got hit with snow back where I was shooting. Took out the whole side of our snow wall. And I think I hit a little low. Looks like we just missed the board. But the slug went under the board and came out behind the board too. So it definitely would have penetrated through the board had I hit the board. You can see it kind of clipped the bottom right there. And it just kept going. So, so far the only thing that didn't go through the wall was the 22 long rifle. Next we're going to try some 223 55 grain FMJs. These are just itty bitty bullets but they're moving super fast. I would suspect they're going to go right through the wall, but who knows, maybe the high velocity will make the bullet break apart on the snow. Let's find out. And right here is where our 223s hit. Those actually flung snow back on me just like the 12 gauge slugs, although not nearly as much. It looks like they didn't even go through. Wow, looks like the same holes in the back. Looks like we do have a little more snow on our wood. But I don't think they went through. So maybe that really high velocity did make them break up on the snow. All right, we're gonna try one last thing, the 308 with 150 grain FMJs. Now these are similar in velocity to the 223, 
but the bullet is nearly three times as heavy, so I highly doubt that the snow will stop these. And as suspected, the 308 went right through. We had a hit here and right here. And there's little rocks in the snow. And from the 308, we got two rocks stuck in the wood right here. That's pretty cool. But anyways, we got three new exits out the back. I looked after the first shot and two holes were there. So that first shot must have broken into pieces and came out in two different spots. And then our second shot just had a single entry. So that's funny, it appears everything went right through the snow except the 22 long rifle and the 223. But I've got one more thing in store for you guys. I know, I know, it's beautiful. No need to remind me. And I'm sure you guys realize, for a snowman of its caliber, we're gonna have to use only my most powerful firearms. So how about a one ounce rifled suck to the face? One more rifled slug. Let's go center mass, since that's all that's left. Go ahead and hit it with one last slug. <laughs> I guess that bottom section is just not getting destroyed like the top. I think the main reason for that is because the top two sections were compacted and the bottom is kind of fluffy. And we saw from my last snow video, the fluffy snow just doesn't quite explode like the compacted snow. But let's finish this snowman off. And I think that took care of him. Snowman is no more. Let's see if we can find any bullets in his remains. Looks like a plastic tip from one of those eight millimeters because I was using the 170 SST and there's a red plastic tip must be from one of the 8mm, that's cool alright guys, that's all for this video I had a lot of fun playing in the snow again second day in a row but it looks like that's going to be the last snow video I make for a long time because it's all melting now so if there's anything else you guys want to see just make sure to let me know and as always, thanks for watching